I just scanned up a fair few barra on the sounder here and um, and I've actually got a couple of new rods to try out today. Here are Kanji, I think it's Serpentees. Yeah, this rod is the, uh, which one it was again? 702, I don't even know how to say that. It's P3 to 4, so I'll probably be throwing like a prawn mostly on this today, maybe some vibes. And then I've got this other one as well, which is... This one is the 692 Black Snake. It's P4 to 5, so this is more of like a more of like a big bait rod. So I throw my like 7 inch, 9 inch plastics and <clears throat> swim baits and stuff like that. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. This thing's massive, bro. Oh I was just slow rolling, slow rolling the thing behind the boat. Can you press the top of the back camera for us? Yeah. And then get that, and then get that net ready. No, I just popped off. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart. That was a proper giant. Did you see that thing? I've seen it jump, yeah. Holy hell, man. That was like. That was well over 110. Actually shaking. I was literally just slow trolling it, like just creeping forward with the electric motor and just. Bro, like, how did he just come off? I thought, I, like, I drove the hooks in as well. I don't even know what happened. Just popped off. Kieran, why did you lose that fish? Oh, oh. Landing you guys. Why don't, why don't you, why didn't you land that fish? It's wild because I was literally doing this, just driving with the electric motor, just dragging it out the back. You got fish sitting here, sitting in the schools of bait on the bottom. So just scan them up, Kieran. So pretty much anywhere from that point there where the mud comes out yep. to that tree to out probably three, four meters left of that tree. Yep. So I'm gonna eat one straight in the middle. Got the little curly prawn here. There's a fair few jelly prawns getting about. I've seen a couple little barra buff on the edges. So throw this in there, see if it does anything. Gonna need many hydration today. Mm -hmm. A liter and a half. Well, not instantly, but like about a liter before six. Yep. There we go. Couple lure changes. Oh, this reels. And this reel was having a moment. On the little light rod. Woo! Can you get that out of the way? I'm sorry, sir. God! God! Oh, it popped off. Oh. Ah! Hell! I'm having a shocking start. It's because you're so slow with the net, man. Oh. <laughs> man, <I'm ridiculous. laughs> nah, just kidding. That's right. He was only small anyway. Something happened. It was a bit funny prior to, but midway through that fire, that fish, it's just something's going on with my reel handle. It's all the internal parts all like loose and crunchy. I don't know. <sighs> Not the greatest start for Bowie. Get him! Keep tension. Nice, mate. 
Woo! Big boy. It's not bad. Don't keep winding. Keep tension, steady wind. He'll jump again. Oh, he's fired up. Don't wind up too high. Keep keep winding my mama. Oh. oh, no wonder he's going skits. I don't even notice that. Oh, right. That's very frustrating. Yeah, he's a big size fella too. No wonder he's going mental. Oh. It's very sad. There he is. Oh, yeah. Now see the shark? That's a shark. That's the shark on the surface there. He's looking for it. Absolute coward. All right. He was solid, man. He would have been. He would have been close to ninety. Yeah, right. Ah, oh, very sad. Well, we got the bite, but um. So did so the shark. Yeah, the shark's got a healthy chunk out of there. That's very sad. I mean. We're not having a good run today, are we, Kieran? No, no. It's uh, been a tough start. We got half a barrel in the boat, at least. Yeah. <laughs> so I think um, we should be able to keep him, I guess. It's, I can stretch him out to be 60, so if we just throw him back, it's just going to be shark meat. So we may as well just keep him and get, you know, some sort of fillets out of him. Oh, it's very frustrating, though. All right. We're going to keep moving, the shark's just kind of hovering under the boat and that's um, not ideal, so we're going to try and find another school of fish somewhere else. Well, if you couldn't already tell, not the happiest guy right now. Um, after first up losing like the, probably the biggest saltwater bar I've, I've ever hooked, it, it would have had to have been at least 115. It might, not, might have been pretty hard to see on the camera, but it was a proper tank and just for the hooks to just pull out very frustrating way to lose it we ended up sitting on those fish for about three hours and then kieran brought in half a fish which that as well is very frustrating and then from there the shark was just sitting under the boat so i just thought we'd move find another school fish now i've just done a little bit of sounding and i found actually quite a few fish in different areas so i just drove back up current drifting back down now and we're going to get them on this side scan spot lock and then get some casts in hopefully these fish bite. Gonna attempt to throw the curly prawn again. Just gotta work out something they want to eat. They've been quite fussy. Oh, you absolute grub. Oh my god, it's frayed up to here. How could we not get a hook in? Oh, you f Okay then? No. So on edge. Now we're going. I'll show you. I won't... I don't even have to tell you how my day is going. You'll understand as soon as I show you this. Oh, it's Yeah, alright. See you around. Okay, just found a good little stack of fish. Some quite sizable ones as well. Yo. Yo. Woo! Boy. 
There we go. Ah, we got the dogs. <laughs> Finally, he's choked that. Look, you'd think that would have been too big. Look at it. Look at that. Champ is here. That works. All right, chuck him on the brag mat. What are we looking at? I oh, know, 71. There we go, finally on the board. Not um, not as big as, obviously not as big as the first fish I hooked this morning, but uh, it's good to get one in the boat. And um, not in half as well, so always a, always a plus. Whew, healthy little fish, he's really solid, like thick in the shoulders. <sighs> no sharks here, so it's a bit more safe. He's biting down hard on my thumb. He's pretty ready to go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sick. And on that, this is what I got him on here. It's a nine inch Sicario from Mirakanji. Big plastic. You wouldn't think a 70 centimeter fish would eat a nine inch plastic, but he scoffed it down. Get back in there, see if we can get another one. There we go, finally one on the board. Shush. Taken many hours, what is it, 11 o'clock, been out here since 6, so 5 hours on the water. Finally put a whole barra in the boat, throwing every lure in my tackle box. Finally throwing a real big 9 inch plastic, 9 inch paddle towel, gets the bite. Oh, he popped off far out. As soon as I started whining, he ate that. I just wound for about two seconds, just goes boom. Well, we probably spent another 20, 30 minutes on that school of fish after I caught that last one, but no more nibs. So we're gonna move on, new zone. Hopefully there's a few fish there. And hopefully they bite. Just scanned over this lay down, wasn't sure if there was going to be any fish, and um, happens to be an absolute stack of fish and some good ones too. Like I saw some big ones on the sounder under the boat. Yep, that's a good fish. Oh. No, he just popped off. Oh. oh my god, like what is this day I'm having? Oh, he was like 80s to 90. Man, come on. Give me a break. Straight in. I think it's smaller. He hasn't jumped yet. Yeah, it's definitely smaller. Woo! No, oh, what are you doing, Kieran? Oh. This way. Lift up, lift up. <laughs> there we go. Just a little fella. The other one was probably had 20 centimeters on him at least. Pop that straight out. It wasn't even hooked that well. There we go. Bit of a consolation prize. This one's probably 60 centimeters. The last one would have been probably closer to 90, but. I don't know. Next cast in, not too bad. Just send him on his way. Get back in there. Alrighty. 
two on the board now. That one was on the flick prawn. He's just a little tucker, he's smaller than the last one. Whoa! Actually, he'd probably be pretty similar. Nice. Just chuck him on the deck, I'll deal with him, mate. You keep you keep trying to tie a lure on, mate. We're getting some nibs now. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't! Oh. He spiked me, little bastard. Just trying to hold you up for the folks at home. And he didn't have to spike me. He turned me prawn nearly inside out when he bopped it. There you go, still good to go. I'm liking this rod. This is the first time I've like caught fish on it. It's very nice. In the tree. So I bumped the front of the tree then, and then I just wound a little bit, and then he whacked it. It's shallower than the other spots here. <laughs> oh, it popped off. <laughs> Man, I should have like eight barra. <laughs> uh, I've lost that many. Wasn't really concentrating then, eh? I was just having chats. Don't even know what I was saying. That was like right here at the back of the boat. Yep. <laughs> oh. He's got me in the tree a bit. Oh, got him out. He's only small, I think. Here he comes. Yeah. Oh. Sending it. It's a bit better. No, no, no. Head first, mate. <laughs> Tail first, no good. The champ is here! He's a bit better. Alrighty, there we go. Another one on the board. Just be another 60s kind of model on the flick prawn there. We've been grinding, absolutely grinding today, but we're starting to put a few on the boat. This one lay down is just like, it's pretty loaded with fish to be fair. And, um, they are chewing. I don't know why they're chewing any more than the other fish, but when they're at this particular spot, they seem to just feed much better than most places around here. So, unsure exactly why, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Quick little spear. There you go. You got one? Yeah, <laughs> you've got something. Yeah, a little cod. Hold him up, man, to the camera. Show us your, show us your prize catch. That's huge, man. First whole fish in the boat. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before one of us got stuck on the stick. What ends up happening sometimes if you get snagged on the lay down fish are sitting on you trying to get it off kind of spooks them. We'll see if it does anything. We'll get it off and then we'll set back up. All right, now we've got the challenge of trying to get them to bite after the lay down they've been sitting on has been shaking around. Bit of a shame we couldn't get some of those better fish in the boat or in the boat as a whole. It's a bit sad to see. We could have had an absolutely rip a day if we, um, if we put all the fish in the boat that we lost or missed, but that's fishing. That's what happens. Yeah, I will be back for revenge. We will get that big one. We will get him someday soon. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Peace!